my dear students i welcome you to another lecture on hvdc systems today we are going to discuss the last type of mal operation of uh, hvdc system and that is commutation failure so we are going to discuss commutation failure what is commutation failure uh, how is it defined i mean commutation failure is i can write it is the let me first write and then explain it it is the failure of an incoming value within brackets i will write due to insufficient due to insufficient extinction angle break it closed to take the control of load current when commutation voltage when commutation voltage reverses its polarity i mean when you fire a value let me draw the power circuit diagram of a three phase six pulse converter and it will be, it will be clear i have already discussed uh, on a few times the commutation failure phenomenon and uh, i'm sure you must have been taught commutation failure in your uh, power electronics course also at btec level maybe there you have been taught for single phase converters here you are discussing it for three phase converters and the three phase converters which are used for hvdc systems so this is the power circuit diagram of a three phase six pulse converter this is the load voltage vd and the valves are this is the po positive or positive commutation group of valves odd numbered valves 135 and this forms the negative commutation group of valves even numbered valves 2 4 and 6 now um, uh, let us suppose previously uh, one two pair was conducting and uh, firing pulse after alpha is issued to value three so it will result in three value conduction one two three that means commutation between one and three will start three is the incoming value one is the outgoing value now if you draw the commutation voltage of value three this is the commutation voltage of value three eba and um, this is zero this is pi and let us suppose this is alpha this is the delay angle alpha after this delay angle you are issuing firing pulse to here to value three so value three immediately goes into conduction and your conduction changes from one two to one two three that means commutation between valves one and three starts three is the incoming value one is the outgoing value so there is uh, you know transfer of current will start taking place from value one to value three okay now let us assume this transfer of current uh, occurs during a period which is called overlap period as you are already know over overlap angle u and then whatever angle or whatever period is left that is gamma and this gamma plus u is called beta now this beta is equal to gamma plus u now what is gamma you can see gamma is equal to um, pi uh, it is equal to um, beta minus u okay now um, uh, commutation between one and three starts here because three is fired here and then during this overlap period commutation between one and three um, takes place one is the outgoing value three is the incoming value and transfer of current i can show you transfer of current here on the next axis this is omega t axis previously value one was conducting and i1 i1 was equal to id and during this period i3 was equal to zero 
Now at this instant of time, you can see firing pulse is issued to value 3 and commutation between 1 and 3 occurs. And this commutation uh, remains there for U period. You can see this is the U period overlap angle. So current in 1 will start falling and current through 3 will start rising. And when commutation is over, I mean after this U is over, after U degrees, all current is taken care of or the, the, the load current is taken by value 3 so i3 is equal to id and i1 is equal to 0 and this during this commutation period u commutation angle i1 plus i3 is equal to id 3 is the incoming value current through 3 starts rising 1 is the outgoing value current through 1 will start falling and once the commutation overlap is over 3 takes value 3 takes the control of current and then when this happens you can see from this uh, diagram then uh, 3 is completely in, in the circuit and uh, you know um, then during this period this gamma this is called extinction angle during this period your 3 will be on right and when 3 is on I have already told you the incoming value whenever an incoming value is fired it goes into conduction it places reverse bias across outgoing value so 3 is now completely on 1 is com completely off and during the period 3 remains on it impresses or it puts reverse bias across outgoing value 1. So outgoing value 1 is reverse biased. Its cathode is made positive with respect to anode because of conduction of value 3. Right? Now this reverse bias remains across this outgoing value for how much period? For gamma. Gamma is called extinction angle. And after gamma, that means after this pi, the commutation voltage of value 1 again becomes positive. You see during this gamma, Value 3 is conducting, so 3 reverse biases. There is reverse voltage across 1. And uh, after pi, you know, next cycle or half cycle starts and commutation voltage across value 1 becomes positive. And as soon as commutation voltage across value 1 becomes positive, now value 1 should not conduct, it should not trigger without the firing pulse. And that is possible only if value 1 has regained its forward voltage blocking capability. And let me tell you, value 1 will regain its forward voltage blocking capability only when it has been reverse bias for a period equal to turn off time. So reverse bias should be there across value 3 for a period uh, T gamma, which is greater than or equal to turn off time of this value, right? Okay, now uh, I told you in one of the early lectures that this gamma should be gamma min, that is minimum uh, extension angle should be 15 degrees. That means if this gamma here is 15 degrees or more than 15 degrees and in terms of time that is greater than or equal to turn off time and during this turn off time, during this period T gamma, there is reverse bias across value 1 when value 3 is conducting. So this reverse bias is there across value 1, that is outgoing value, for a period T gamma, which is greater than or equal to turn off time, and therefore it regains its forward voltage blocking capability. And therefore, uh, after this period, after this time, this zero crossing, a positive commutation voltage will appear across value 1, but it will not go into conduction because it has regained its forward voltage blocking capability. It will go into conduction only when firing pulse uh, is issued at its gate terminal. Okay? So, uh, after a few cycles, or maybe after one cycle. Now, let us assume that this gamma is small. I mean, uh, let us assume uh, this situation is there. Let me draw this uh, commutation voltage of value 3 again, EBA. Let us assume that alpha is very, very large. This is alpha. And here, value 3 is fired. And when value 3 is fired, Okay, there is commutation overlap and that commutation overlap is over a period U. And how much gamma is there? Gamma is very, very small. You can see a very small period is left, this much period, during which value 3 is on and it reverse biases the value 1. And obviously, since this gamma is very, very small, this gamma definitely will be less than gamma min. Let us assume this gamma is equal to 5 degrees. What is gamma mean? Your gamma mean is 15 degrees as we have written here. Okay, but gamma in this case is less than gamma mean. It is only 5 degrees. That means for the time period T gamma for which reverse bias is there across outgoing value 1, it is, it is much, much less than the turn off time of value 1. Okay, so therefore after this instant pi, what will happen? 
uh, positive commutation voltage will appear across value 1 and since value 1 was previously reversed by us for a period t gamma which was less than t of it has not regained its forward voltage blocking capability so therefore as soon as positive voltage appears across it it immediately goes into conduction without waiting for the firing pulse and therefore reverse commutation will take place reverse commutation means now uh, uh, current will start transferring from value 3 to value 1 see previously value 1 was conducting you know uh, when one two pair was conducting value 1 was conducting and when firing pulse was issued to value 3 there was commutation between 1 and 3 3 was incoming value 1 was outgoing value and then complete commutation of current took place after u from value 1 to value 3 and then this gave rise to two value conduction 2 3 but as soon as uh, let us assume gamma is very uh, alpha is very very large so that gamma is less than gamma min say for example in this case we have assumed gamma just 5 degrees so therefore t gamma that is the time period for which reverse bias is applied across the outgoing value 1 it is much less than its turn off time so therefore what will happen to uh, value 1 as soon as positive voltage or forward bias appears across it it will immediately go into conduction so after this point forward vo voltage will appear across it and it will immediately go into conduction and therefore when one goes conduction there will be commutation between one and three again so that means two three will again uh, you will again have one two three since one has gone into conduction again okay because it had not re regained its forward voltage blocking capability and as soon as its commutation voltage became positive it triggered without firing pulse so commutation between three and one again takes place this is this is called reverse commutation rc okay now three is your outgoing value one is in incoming value after some time all current is transferred from three to one and you will again get one two right so that is the problem okay so that means the whole sequence of conduction will uh, get altered it will get changed and your output converter output voltage waveform will also get changed so therefore it gives rise to reverse conduction so in terms of this uh, i can show reverse conduction like this so um, previously before commutation i1 was equal to id and you know let us suppose at this instant of time firing pulse is issued to value 3 and commutation between 1 and 3 occurs let us assume that this commutation uh, commutation between 1 and 3 is there for longer period of time okay so it is for longer period of time i1 decreases i3 increases and once commutation is over i3 is equal to id but this u is very large since u is very large gamma will be very very small gamma will be say less than gamma min and therefore as soon as this u is over and you know commutation between 1 and 3 is over 3 takes the control of load current earlier 1 was carrying load current now value 3 will carry load current but as soon as commutation voltage across value 1 becomes positive since value 1 has not regained its forward voltage blocking capabilities let us suppose at this instant the voltage across value 1 again becomes positive so what will happen to value 1 value 1 will go into conduction and reverse commutation between 1 and 3 will occur so therefore what will happen to value 1 current it will again start rising and i1 will again become come to id and what will happen to this i3 i3 will fall so it will be now 3 will be outgoing value 1 will be incoming value so 1 will again go into conduction so previously 1 was conducting and now it was time for 3 to take control of load current but because of commutation this is called commutation failure here commutation between 1 and 3 took place and here again commutation between 1 and 3 takes place but it is called reverse commutation i3 should have taken control of id and then you know uh, your conduction should have changed from 1 2 3 to 2 3 but and then 2 3 to 2 3 4 and so on but because of reverse commutation one again goes into conduction as soon as its reverse uh, its commutation voltage becomes positive it goes into conduction and commutation between 1 and 3 again occurs this is called reverse commutation so current will uh, start transferring from 1 to 3 so therefore from 3 to 1 so therefore i3 decreases i1 increases and one again takes control of load current i1 again becomes equal to id and whole sequence of conduction changes this is called re uh, reverse commutation and since value 1 failed to commutate you know value 1 should have commutated here the value 1 committed hoga it should not have turned on till next instant of firing but it has uh, you know here value 1 again has turned off but immediately it has turned on again that means it has failed to commit it this is called commutation failure 
So therefore, there is one commutation between 1 and 3 and immediately there is reverse commutation between 1 and 3. So 1 was turning off, it, uh, i1 was be, uh, 0 here, then i1 will again become equal to id, you can see, because of reverse commutation. So this phenomenon is called rever uh, commutation failure. That's what I have written. How, 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 how I do define the commutation failure? I have written commutation failure is the failure of an incoming value due to insufficient extinction angle to take the control of load current when commutation voltage reverses its polarity. You know, as soon as commutation voltage reverses, reverses its polarity, if outgoing value has not regained its forward voltage blocking capability, then another commutation, which is called reverse commutation, will take place between, uh, you know, outgoing value and incoming value. Now, outgoing value will become incoming value and incoming value will become outgoing value. So that means your incoming value, outgoing value, will fail to commit it okay so one two will be followed by one two three then two three then again one two three so you have one off ho gaya tha. one should not have come here but like in one fir se wapas aa gaya. so therefore one that means one which had committed here it has failed to commit it because of reverse commutation it has come back to, into picture so therefore one has failed to commit it yeah outgoing value jo hai, uh, it has failed to commit it or incoming value jo 3 hai, it has failed to take control of load current due to insufficient extinction angle and this is called commutation failure right i hope it is clear now what are the causes of commutation failure it must be clear to you causes of commutation failure causes of commutation failure so there are there may be many causes of commutation failure one cause may be large dc current dc line current i mean if uh, you know there is some small sh fault on the dc side a large dc current will follow and uh, if dc current increases you know excessively then it results in increase in u because of increase in dc current id if id increases this results in increase in u and increase in u results in decrease in gamma because what is gamma gamma is equal to beta minus u okay as u increases gamma decreases and when gamma decreases gamma will become less than gamma min which is 15 degrees and if gamma is less than gamma min so t gamma will be less than t off so therefore your outgoing uh, value will fail to commit it it will fail to regain its forward voltage blocking capability and immediately when voltage commutation voltage across it becomes positive it again turns on reverse commutation takes place and it again comes into picture it takes control of load current again whereas it should not have turned on uh, till it receives the next firing pulse so it will uh, you know so this is uh, one one cause if dc current or transmission line current increases id increases u increases overlap angle increases that decreases gamma because gamma is equal to beta minus u so that decreases gamma becomes less than gamma min and therefore t gamma that is the uh, turn off the rever uh, time for which reverse bias is applied across outgoing value is less than its turn off time so it will fail to commit it okay so this is one cause another cause may be small uh, low ac side voltage low ac side voltage uh, you know ac side voltage may suddenly drop due to fault say short circuit conditions let us suppose some short circuit line to ground fault or you know some fault has occurred on ac side which has resulted in a lowering of the ac side voltage when ac side voltage decreases what happens if ac side voltage decreases u increases when u increases again gamma equal to beta minus u when u increases gamma decreases this will result in gamma becoming less than gamma min this will result in reverse bias time less than turn off time of the value and therefore commutation failure will again result this is the second cause third cause may be late application of firing pulse late application of triggering pulse or firing pulse you know your control logic circuit should work in such a way that after every 60 degrees it issues firing pulse to values let us suppose value 6 was fired after 60 degrees value 1 should be fired after another 60 degrees 2 should be fired after another 60 degrees 3 then 4 
then 5, then again 6. This, this is the firing sequence. So when 6 is fired, then exactly after 60 degrees value, 1 should be given firing pulse. Then exactly after 60 degrees value, 2, then value 3, 4, 5. The, so each value should receive firing pulse exactly after 60 degree intervals each. Right? Now, sometimes your control logic circuit may maloperate. I mean, it may, uh, let us suppose control logic circuit issues firing pulse to value 3, but it issues firing pulse to value 3 5 degrees late. Which means, see, uh, it's interesting to see if firing pulse was to be, this is uh, value 3 commutation voltage. Let us suppose this is alpha. Let us suppose this is alpha. Firing pulse to value 3 should have been issued, say, alpha equal to 150, at 150 degrees. But because of some problem, some malfunction of control logic circuit, let us suppose it uh, firing pulse is not issued at 150 degrees, but it is delayed by 5 degrees. That is, firing pulse is issued here after uh, alpha dash equal to 155 degrees. So, firing pulse is issued to value 3, not at alpha equal to 50 degrees, but it is delayed by 5 degrees. That is, at alpha equal to 155 degrees. So, therefore, usse kya hoga? U to aapka change nahi na hoga. U will not change. U aapka agar 15 degree, wo 15 degree rahega. U aapka same hai. So, gamma will decrease. So, what will happen to gamma? Gamma is equal to beta minus U. U to same hai, lekin aapka beta kam ho gaya. When beta kam ho gaya, to aapka gamma bhi kam ho gaya. So, gamma will be less than gamma min. So, therefore, again, this will result in commutation failure. So, late application of firing pulse. If firing pulse is issued late by 5 degrees, okay, everything will, will get delayed by 5 degrees. Or usse ye ho sakta hai, gamma bhi aapka squeeze ho jayega. If your gamma was say 15 degrees, ye 15 degrees se kam ho ke, 15 minus 5, 10 degrees hi rahega. Kyunki aapki firing pulse, it has got issued 5 degrees late. So, your gamma will be, Say if initially it was 15, so it will be 15 minus 5, that is 10 degrees, which is less than gamma min. Because your gamma min 15 degrees. So this will result in commutation failure. So these are three causes of commutation failure or a combination. Number fourth cause is a combination of above. A combination of above causes. I mean, there may be a large DC current. Along with, and as well as you know late application of firing pulse or there may be low AC side voltage and late firing pulse application. It may be combination of these. So uh, large DC side current, uh, low AC side voltage or late application of firing pulse or a combination of these may result in gamma becoming less than gamma min and hence it will result in commutation failure. So I hope it is clear to you. Now the question is when commutation failure occurs, what happens to your load voltage? Okay, It's interesting to see the load voltage. For that purpose, we have to go to waveforms. We have to draw the load voltage waveforms. Uh, now, uh, as I have told you in yesterday's lecture also, the commutation failure may be single commutation failure or double commutation failure. You may have single commutation failure. Single commutation failure means in one cycle only one only one value suffers commutation failure. That means only one value in one cycle fails to commutation, fails to commutate. Only one value suffers commutation failure per cycle. That's called single commutation failure. Uh, if um, successive commutation failures are there, successive that is back to back commutation failures occur. Successive commutation failures per cycle, they result in multiple commutation failure or what we call as double commutation failure. Double commutation failure. So that, that means if one cycle, if in one cycle only one value fails to commutate, there is only one commutation failure per cycle that's called single commutation failure. And if there is more than one commutation failure per cycle, say two commutation failures per cycle, it's called double commutation failure. And double commutation failure is more severe than single commutation failure. I will write here double commutation failure is much more severe severe than single commutation failure. Remember it. Single commutation failure. 
let us try to uh, draw the waveforms for both the cases that is single commutation failure as well as double commutation failure let us get going for that purpose i will use uh, i will draw the waveforms for first for single commutation failure and then for double commutation failure let us start with single commutation failure i will write here <clears throat> first we will start with part a single commutation failure single commutation failure and in single commutation uh, you must remember that commutation failure occurs only in invert inverting uh, mode not in rectification mode because in inversion mode alpha is very very large and when only when alpha is very large gamma is small and if alpha is very very large gamma may become less than gamma min in rectification mode of operation there is no question of gamma becoming less than gamma min so therefore you must remember that commutation failure is a phenomenon which occurs only when your converter operates in inversion mode of operation it does not occur commutation failure does not occur in rectification mode of operation so therefore for single commutation failure um, let us assume alpha is 150 degrees and u that is um, overlap angle is 15 degrees okay so um, okay now uh, this is normal operation if normal operation would have been there normal operation let us assume that due to the reasons which i have cited say due to a large increase in the dc line current or in a decrease in the ac side voltage let us assume that uh, this u has increased i mean u is say 25 25 degrees what is uh, under normal circumstances what is u u is 15 degrees so your beta is 180 degrees minus 150 degrees that is 30 degrees and what is your beta beta is equal to um, u plus gamma so here you will gamma min milega. gamma gamma is equal to beta minus u beta is 30 degrees minus u is 15 degrees so gamma is 13 minus 50 that is 15 degrees and that is equal to gamma min Agar, that means if your u is 15 degrees hai, Aapka delay angle 150 degree hai and your uh, u overlap angle is 15 degrees that will give gamma equal to 15 degrees which is equal to gamma min and it will not result in commutation failure no problem now let us assume that your converter was operating normally and suddenly some fault has occurred on the ac side which has resulted in decrease in the ac side voltage or some fault has occurred on the dc side which has resulted in the increase in the dc line current now decrease in ac side voltage or increase in AC, dc side current i repeat decrease in ac side voltage or increase in dc side current both are responsible for increasing u and let us suppose the u now um, becomes 25 degrees okay so u aapka increase hua it has increased from 15 degrees to 25 degrees because your dc line current has increased or ac side voltage has decreased so therefore aapka gamma kitna ab hoga your gamma is beta minus u beta minus u beta of 30 degrees and minus u is 25 degrees so that means your gamma becomes only 5 degrees which is much less than gamma min and it will definitely result in commutation failure let us see how it results in commutation failure let me draw the power circuit diagram again for your reference on this side i will draw the power circuit diagram of a three phase six pulse converter this is value one this is value three value five two four and six this is line to neutral voltage or phase voltage ea this is source inductance l this is line current ia similarly this is phase voltage eb source inductance l and line current ib phase voltage ec source inductance l and line current ic this is your dc side load voltage is vd and dc side or line current is id fine now let us assume one two b conducting let us assume you, our converter was operating um, at normal in normal operation and one two pair was conducting and after 
alpha equal to 150 degrees value 3 is fired as soon as value 3 is fired it will give 1 2 3 conduction so 2 value conduction was previously 1 2 and after alpha equal to 150 degrees firing pulse is issued to value 3 commutation between 1 and 3 will start okay and now uh, we will go from 2 value conduction to 3 value conduction 1 2 to 1 2 3 commutation between 1 and 3 starts 1 is the outgoing value 3 is the incoming value current in 1 decreases and current in 3 increases okay so uh, let us draw the omega t axis here okay this is our omega t axis okay fine now we will start with the firing of value um, 1 okay this is our uh, what is the commutation voltage of value 1 okay so, uh, 5 6 6 1 5 so means when 5 was conducting its one's anode voltage is ea when 5 is conducting its cathode voltage is ec eac is the commutation voltage of value 1 eac will be followed by ebc okay ebc will be followed by eba then ECA, then ECB, then EAB, then EAC, then EBC, then EBA, okay, EBC, EBA, then ECA, then ECB, and so on. This is the, you know, this is, uh, I am marking these. Uh, voltages line to line voltages I have started with the EAC why I have started with EAC here because I will start with the firing of value 1 okay now <clears throat> what is the commutation voltage of value 1 after alpha equal to 150 degrees value 1 is fired I mean what is the commutation voltage of value 3 EBA is 150 degree ka hai? 30 plus 30 60 90 120 150 150 next voltage ka peak hai. इसी तरह अगर आप EAC लेंगे, EAC का 150 degrees यहाँ है क्योंकि इसके बाद next voltage का peak यह है, तो EAC का 150 degrees यहाँ है. What is EAC? EAC is the commutation voltage of value one. So therefore अगर आप यहाँ से शुरू करेंगे, this is alpha equal to 150 degrees and here value one is fired. So if value one is fired here, then once you know the first firing instant, you can know the subsequent firing instants. Here value two is fired. Here value 3 is fired. After 60 degrees then value 4 is fired. After another 60 degrees 5. Then 6 is given firing pulse. Then 1 is given firing pulse again. Then after 60 degrees 2. Then after another 60 degrees 3 and 4 and so on. So this is the firing sequence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Now when value uh, 1 is fired here, it will give 1, 2, 3 conduction. And uh, before I you know, proceed further, let me draw these uh, 1.5 or minus 1.5 times these voltages. Either they are plus 1.5 times voltages or minus 1.5 times voltages. Okay. Now let me use green color pen for drawing the waveforms. So value 1 is fired here. Okay, so it will give three value conduction one, two, three. And when one, two, three are conducting, what is your load voltage? One, three. Which value is not conducting? Five. Five is connected to C. So your load voltage will be uh, okay. Three. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm not giving firing pulse to three. We are starting with the firing of value one, uh, six. That means previously six, six one. Uh, 5 6 pair was conducted. Let 5 6 pair be conducting previously and at alpha equal to 150 degrees, value 1 is fired. Since I value 1 se shuru kar raho, value 1 se pahle, which pair was conducting? 5 6. 5 6 was conducting previously and after alpha equal to 150 degrees, which is our you know uh, delay angle, firing pulse is issued to value 1. 5 6 ke baad 1 value fire hoga. So this will give you 5 6 1 conduction. 561 conduction and 561 conduction means you are 5 is conducting 1 is conducting which value is not conducting 3 3 is connected to phase voltage eb so load voltage will be minus 1.5 eb 
एंड वायर इज माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव ई बी यह आपकी माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव ई बी है ये वोल्टेज वेव हो ओके दिस इज माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव ई बी सो वॉट इज यू यू इज फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज देर इज कॉम्बिटेशन बिटवीन फाइव एंड वन कॉम्बिटेशन बिटवीन फाइव एंड वन टेक्स प्लेस एंड दिस कॉम्बिटेशन इज देयर फॉर ओवरलैप एंगल दैट इज फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज तो यहाँ से यहाँ तक इट इज थर्टी डिग्रीज फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज इसका हाफ है सो दिस इज लोड वोल्टेज वेव फॉर्म and during this period three valves 5 6 and 1 are conducting now commutation between 5 and 1 is over 5 is outgoing device 1 is incoming value so now three value conduction will be followed by two value conduction 6 1 6 means 1 means you are positive bus voltage is ea and 6 means you are negative bus voltage is eb so up now your load voltage will be eab where is eab वायर इज ई ए बी ये आपकी दिस इज यूर यू कैन सी दिस इज यूर ई ए बी है ना दिस इज यूर ई ए बी सो देर फोर यहाँ फ्राम हेयर टू हेयर इट वॉज माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव ई बी उसके बाद ये दिस वी नो दिस इज ई ए बी सो इट विल जम्प एंड इट विल फॉलो ई ए बी टिल फॉर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज यहाँ से यहाँ सी फ्राम हेयर टू हेयर इट इज सिक्सटी डिग्रीज आउट ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्रीज फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज इज ओवर लाफ पीरियड और बाकी सिक्सटी माइनस फिफ्टीन इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज सो फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ द फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज यूर लोड वोल्टेज विल बी ई ए बी इट इज ई ए बी एज आई हैव रिटन हेयर इट विल बी ई ए बी सो इट इज ई ए बी टिल नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग टू इज फायर वैन टू इज फायर देर विल बी कॉम्पिटेशन बिटवीन सिक्स एंड टू एट विल गिव थ्री वैल्यू कंडक्शन सिक्स वन टू नाव सिक्स वन एंड टू आर Conducting six and two in the bottom group and one in the upper group. Six and two in the bottom group are conducting. Four is not conducting and four is connected to A. So your load voltage is plus one point five E A. And this is your one point five E A. So it will go down and it will follow this one point five E A for fifteen degrees because overlap angle is fifteen degrees. So five six one is followed by six one. Six one is followed by six one two. ओके फॉर सिक्स वन टू यूर लोड वोल्टेज फॉर फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज इज वन पॉइंट फाइव ई ए सो दैट इज दिस वन पॉइंट फाइव ई ए फॉर ओनली फॉर फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज दैन कॉम्बिटेशन बिटवीन टू एंड सिक्स इज ओवर सिक्स इज आउट टू इज इन टू गिव वन टू पेयर ऑफ कंडक्शन वन टू मीन्स यूर लोड वोल्टेज इज वन मीन्स पॉजिटिव बस वोल्टेज इज ई ए टू मीन्स नेगेटिव बस वोल्टेज इज ई सी नाउ अवर लोड वोल्टेज इज ई ए सी वायर इज ई ए सी ये आपकी ई ए सी यू कैन सी दिस इज यूर ई ए सी this is eac so it will jump and it will follow this eac for 40 remaining 45 degrees till next instant of firing so next instant of firing uh, value 3 hai now value 3 will be fired as soon as value 3 is fired the commutation between 1 and 3 starts and you will get 1 2 3 commutation okay now one, when 1 2 3 uh, values are conducting what is your load voltage 1 and 3 are conducting in the upper group Five is not conducting. Five is connected to phase voltage EC. So your load voltage is minus one point five EC. I am writing here. Why is your minus one point five EC? It will jump and it will follow this minus one point five EC. Now let us assume here itself fault has occurred. As soon as value three has fired, DC line current has increased due to you know some fault, or AC side voltage has decreased due to fault on the AC side. and because of the one of these two reasons what happens your u should have been only for 15 degrees but this u is extended so this 1 2 3 pair uh, conduction should have been there only for u degrees 15 degrees but because of the fault u is extended to 25 degrees we have assumed here u is extended to 25 degrees as soon as value 3 is fired previously you know here u is 15 degrees here also u is 15 degrees but here u is extended from 15 degrees to 25 degrees more so u increases from 15 to 25 degrees because of some fault fault means ac side fault or dc side fault which causes ac side voltage reduction or dc side line current increase both of these are responsible for increase of u to aapka u increase ho jayega so therefore 1 2 3 pair conduction will continue up to 25 degree yahan se yahan tak 30 degrees hai 25 degrees hai so um, this was 1 2 to 1 2 3 commutation 15 degree ke bajaye 25 degree tak ho jayegi okay so after the commutation between 1 and 3 is over okay 3 is in 2 is out so 2 3 conduction will be there two three conduction that is two value conduction two three conduction means your load voltage is three is conducting positive bus voltage is eb 
2 is conducting negative bus voltage EC. So your load voltage is EBC. So where is EBC? You can see this is EBC. Yeah, EBC. Yeah. So your load voltage will be EBC. But this EBC will be there for only 5 degrees. You can see. Line voltage hoti hai up to, you know, yahaan tak hoti hai. Uh, in fact, this should have been up to uh, uh, next instant of firing. Jab tak four uh, fire nahi hota. Lekin hoga kya? Juhi aap uh, is point pe pohcho ge. Commutation voltage of value 1 become po will become positive. What is commutation voltage of value 1? When 3 is conducting. See here, 3 is conducting. Now, 1, 2, 3 ke baad, 2, 3 conduct. Since 3 is conducting. When 3 is conducting, what is commutation voltage of value 1? Value 1 ki anode voltage hai EA or jab 3 conduct kar raha hai, iski cathode voltage hai EB. So its um, commutation voltage is EAB. Now you can see why it is EAB. Aap agar upar dekhe, ye EAB hai. And you, its commutation voltage immediately becomes positive. The question is, will value um, 1 again fire? Value 1 ki commutation voltage EAB hai. And it becomes positive after this time. And I say that as soon as this commutation voltage becomes positive, say somewhere here, at zero crossing itself, value 1 will trigger. Otherwise, value 1 aapka kaha trigger hona chahiye tha? Yaha, isko next firing pulse yaha milti hai. Lekin, uh, but your value 1 will trigger here as soon as its commutation voltage, which is EAB, becomes positive. Why? Because value 1 was reverse biased only for 5 degrees. Here, commutation overlap was extended from 15 degrees to 25 degrees. Total beta aapka 30 hai. 30 mein se 25 nikal hai, toh aapke paas kitna bachta hai? Only 5 degrees. So that means, value 3, value 1 was, when value 3 was conducting, your value 1 was, uh, you know, uh, reverse biased only for 5 degrees. And what is minimum commutation uh, extraction angle? It is 15 degrees. So it is, uh, you know, reverse biased only for 5 degrees. So therefore, it has not regained its forward voltage blocking capability. And therefore, remember, as soon as its commutation voltage becomes positive, it will trigger without firing pulse. So, its commutation voltage immediately is point ke baad positive ho jati hai because its commutation voltage, commutation voltage of value 1 is EAB. So, its commutation voltage is EAB, it becomes positive here. So, hota kya hai? Value 1 fir se conduct karega. Otherwise, aapki load voltage, line voltage segment yahan tak honi chahi thi. Lekin, reverse commutation between 1 and 3 will take place. Oh, and therefore, 2, 3 ke baad, 2, 3, 4 hona chahi tha. 2, 3 yahan tak hona chahi tha. Uske baad, 2, 3, 4. But, as soon as commutation voltage of value 1 becomes positive, it means EAB becomes positive, value 1 fir se conduct hota hai. Okay? So 1 vapas picture mein aajata hai and the commutation between 1 and 3 starts. So therefore this is called reverse commutation. Reverse commutation, I will write here RC. Reverse commutation will occur between 1 and uh, and this will give 1, 2, 3 conduction again. And 1, 2, 3 conduction means your load voltage again becomes minus 1.5 EC as it was here. Minus 1.5 EC. Uh, previously also here it was minus 1.5 EC. It will follow say minus 1.5 EC for 15 degrees. So 1, 2, 3 fir se conduct karenge. And I will write RC, reverse commutation occurs. So therefore 1 fails to commit it. 1 yaha committed ho gaya tha. Lekin iski... Commutation voltage juhi positive ho gai hai, conduct ho gaya. So this is commutation failure. One has failed to commit it. And three has failed to take the control of load current. So one vapas picture mein aa gaya. So there is commutation between one and three. So one, two, three, that's the reverse commutation occurs. And load voltage is minus 1.5 EC. And this is it. Uske baad, now aapka, which value is incoming? One is incoming, three is outgoing. After 15 degrees, you know, let us suppose fault condition khatam ho gai, ab commutation overlap angle aapka 15 degree hi rahega. Now, but the problem is that 1 is incoming value, 3 is outgoing value. After 15 degrees, U, 1, 2 conduction will be there. 3 out ho gaya. So, there, there will be 1, 2 conduction. So, 1, 2 means aapki load voltage. 1, 1 means positive bus voltage is EA. 2 means negative bus voltage is EC. Aapki load voltage EAC ho jayegi. And where is your EAC? Find EAC. This is EAC. So your load voltage after 15 degrees becomes EAC. EA, it becomes EAC. Yahan pe aapka value 4 fire hota hai. Yahan pe. Till 4 is fired. So yahan se yahan tak aapki value voltage EAC ho jati hai. Aur yahan pe 4 fire hota hai. The question is, will 4, uh, when firing pulse is issued to 4 here, will it go into conduction? Which value is conducting? Bottom mein, 2. 
टू कंडक्ट होने का मतलब फोर की कॉम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज क्या है वन टू इज कंडक्टिंग टू इज कनेक्टेड टू सी इट्स एनोड वोल्टेज इज ई सी एंड इट्स कैथोड वोल्टेज इज ई ए ई सी ए वॉट इज द कॉम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज ऑफ वैल्यू फोर इज ई सी ए इज दैट पॉजिटिव यस लकीली दैट इज पॉजिटिव दिस इज ई सी ए कॉम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज ऑफ वैल्यू फोर सो वैल्यू फोर कंडक्ट हो जाएगा एंड वैन वैल्यू फोर कंडक्ट्स यू हैव अगेन थ्री वैल्यू कंडक्शन वन टू फोर वॉट विल बी लोड वोल्टेज वन वन टू फोर आर कंडक्टिंग वन इन द अपर ग्रुप एंड टू एंड फोर इन द बॉटम ग्रुप आर कंडक्टिंग सो वॉट विल बी लोड वोल्टेज आई विल से लोड वोल्टेज विल बी जीरो बिकॉज वन एंड फोर बोथ आर कंडक्टिंग एंड वन एंड फोर बिलोंग टू सेम ब्रांच सेम लेग और सेम आर्म सो वन एंड फोर बिलोंग टू सेम आर्म एंड यूर लोड गेट्स शॉर्टेड बाई वन एंड फोर सो देर फॉर लोड वोल्टेज इज जीरो so therefore immediately what will happen to abnormal things will the start appearing in the load voltage your load voltage will be zero for 15 degrees 1 to 4 means the commutation between 2 and 4 is taking place so load voltage this commutation is for u degree u is 15 degrees so for 15 degrees your load voltage is zero this is 15 degrees load voltage aapki zero ho jayegi uske baad commutation between 4 and 2 is over 2 out 4 in so this is 1 4 conduction two value conduction one four is again one and four again belong to same branch same arm and they short the load so therefore load voltage is again zero till next instant of firing 45 degrees next instant of firing you have five jo fire hota hai so your load voltage will be zero till five is fired now here firing pulse is issued to value five question is will it go into conduction we have to check its commutation voltage it's if its commutation voltage is positive then it will go into conduction otherwise it will not go into conduction what uh, now what is the commutation voltage of 5 so previously which valve is conducting in the upper, upper group 1 now it is time here firing pulse is issued to value 5 when one is conducting value 5 key anode voltage its anode is connected to c so its, so its anode voltage is ec and when one is conducting previously its cathode voltage is ea so its commutation voltage is eca we have to check whether eca is positive or negative if eca is positive then here firing pulse is issued to value 5 it will go into conduction but if it is commutation voltage eca is negative then it will not go into conduction where is eca you can see this is eca just follow it ab dekhiye eca unfortunately you can see when Uh, firing is pulse is issued to value five. Its commutation voltage ECA is negative. So here I will therefore write value five will not fire. ये fire नहीं होगा because its commutation voltage is minus. In within brackets I will write minus EAC. What is minus EAC? It is the commutation voltage of value five. And since it is negative, its commutation voltage is negative. It will not fire. So although your control logic circuit issues firing pulse to value five, but since its commutation voltage EAC is negative, it will not fire. So therefore, what will happen? One four will continue to fire because five has failed to fire. So one and four will continue to fire uh, conduct till six is fired, till next instant of firing when six is fired. So यहाँ तक फिर से zero ही रहेगी voltage. Now here six is fired. The question is, will six go into conduction? या yeah, इसके लिए आपको इसकी यू हैव टू चेक इट्स कम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज व्हाट इज द कम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज ऑफ सिक्स दैट विल बी डिटरमिन बाय विच वैल्यू वाज प्रीवियसली कंडक्टिंग प्रीवियसली फोर वाज कंडक्टिंग सो गो टू पावर सर्किट है फोर वाज कंडक्टिंग मींस इट्स की एनोड वोल्टेज ई ए है एंड सिक्स का क्या थोड ई बी के साथ कनेक्टेड है सो इट्स कम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज इज ई ए माइनस ई बी दैट इज ई ए बी इज इट पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव इसकी कम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज ई ए बी वेर इज ई ए बी हेयर इज ई ए बी Six is fired here, and luckily its commutation voltage EAB is positive, so six will go into conduction, and your conduction will change from one four to one four six. What will be load voltage? Since one and four again they belong to the same branch, so they again short the load. Your load voltage will be still zero. I will write here with one four six also load voltage will be zero for fifteen degrees. Your fifteen degrees here to here to here. So load voltage is still zero. ओके okay. उसके बाद कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन सिक्स एंड फोर इज ओवर सिक्स इज इनकमिंग वैल्यू फोर इज फोर इज आउट गोइंग वैल्यू नाव यूर फोर विल बी आउट सिक्स विल बी इन नाव 
थ्री वैल्व कंडक्शन वन फोर सिक्स विल बी फॉलोड बाई टू वैल्व कंडक्शन सिक्स वन फोर आउट हो गया सिक्स इन हो गया सिक्स वन वैन सिक्स वन आर कंडक्टिंग वट इज लोड वोल्टेज वन इज कंडक्टिंग दैट मीन्स पॉजिटिव बस वोल्टेज इज ई ए सिक्स इज कंडक्टिंग मीन्स नेगेटिव बस वोल्टेज इज ई बी योर यूर लोड वोल्टेज इज ई ए बी एंड वायर इज ई ए बी यू हैव टू चेक दिस इज ई ए बी तो दैट मीन्स यहाँ इसके बाद अप टू नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग आपकी लोड वोल्टेज ई ए बी रहेगी इट विल बी ई ए बी टिल नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग टिल वन इज फायर वन इज फायर हेयर बट यू कैन सी वन इज ऑलरेडी कंडक्टिंग वन अब नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन की वजह से ऑलरेडी पिछले बहुत सारे इंटरवल्स में कंडक्ट करता रहा है सो फायरिंग पल्स इज इश्यू टू वन वन इज बट ऑलरेडी कंडक्टिंग सो सिक्स वन विल कंटिन्यू टिल नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग सो सिक्स वन इज कंडक्टिंग सो यूर लोड वोल्टेज इज ई ए बी इट विल कंटिन्यू टू बी ई ए बी टिल वैल्यू टू इज फायर्ड सो हेयर वैल्यू टू इज फायर सो वैन वैल्यू टू इज फायर क्वेश्चन इज विद विल वैल्यू टू गो इन टू कंडक्शन इसकी कॉम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज चेक करते हैं सिक्स वॉज कंडक्टिंग सिक्स वॉज कंडक्टिंग मीन्स वैल्यू टू की एनोड वोल्टेज है ई बी और कैथोड वोल्टेज है ई सी सो इट्स कॉम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज इज ई बी सी वायर इज ई बी सी दिस इज ई बी सी दिस इज ई बी सी यहाँ पे टू फायर होता है एंड लकीली इट्स कॉम्पिटिशन वोल्टेज इज पॉजिटिव सो इट विल गो इन टू कंडक्शन सो सिक्स वन के बाद हमारी नेक्स्ट है सिक्स वन टू टू विल गो इन टू कंडक्शन एंड सिक्स वन टू मीन्स आपकी वॉट इज योर लोड वोल्टेज सिक्स एंड टू बॉटम ग्रुप में कंडक्ट कर रहे हैं फोर इज नॉट कंडक्टिंग फोर इज कनेक्टेड टू ई ए सो यूर लोड वोल्टेज इज वन पॉइंट फाइव ई ए एंड वायर इज वन पॉइंट फाइव ई ए यह आपकी वन पॉइंट फाइव ई ए है इमीजिएटली इसके बाद ये सो फॉर फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज इट विल बी वन पॉइंट फाइव उसके बाद कॉम्पिटिशन बिटवीन टू एंड सिक्स इज ओवर सो यूर कंडक्शन विल चेंज फ्रॉम सिक्स वन टू टू वन टू सो वन टू मीन्स यूर लोड वोल्टेज इज ई ए सी ई ए सी ई ए सी लोड वोल्टेज वेर इज ई ए सी दिस इज ई ए सी सो इट विल जम्प अप एंड इट विल बी ई ए सी उसके बाद आपका नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन शुरू होगा फिर से वन पॉइंट फाइव सम फेज वोल्टेज एंड दैन लाइन वोल्टेज सो नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन विल स्टार्ट अर्लियर ऑल्सो इट वॉज नॉर्मल ऑपरेशन माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव सम टाइम इज सम फेज वोल्टेज एंड दैन लाइन वोल्टेज दैन वन पॉइंट फाइव टाइम्स फेज वोल्टेज लाइन वोल्टेज लेकिन वैन थ्री वॉज फायर्ड द मोमेंट थ्री वॉज फायर्ड सम You know, abnormal thing happened in your converter. That means converter DC side current increased or AC side voltage decreased. That resulted in extension of U. U increased from 15 to 25 degrees, so that gamma was only 5 degrees. And since gamma is only 5 degrees, it is less than gamma min, and it resulted in commutation failure. And with commutation failure, this is what happened to your load voltage waveform. So therefore, earlier your load voltage was following normal sequence, and because of commutation failure. it is now you know its voltage decreases it becomes zero for a large period and some small positive voltage and then it again resumes the normal operation okay so this is the effect of commutation failure on load voltage waveform if a single commutation failure occurs in one cycle see in one cycle we have assumed only one commutation failure commutation failure of valo 1 has occurred valo 1 failed to commutate okay only one commutation failure this is what happened to your load voltage if you remember the load voltage this is similar to the waveform of load voltage for you know misfire in inversion mode of operation similar effect it has So this is a single commutation failure let us quickly now study the double commutation failure the bottom waveform jisme yahan phase voltage likhi hai let us write line voltage this uh, ksp we will now discuss double commutation failure double commutation failure okay <clears throat> double commutation failure means let us assume let value 1 and subsequently value 2 suffer commutation failure commutation i mean uh, value 1 pehle commit fail hua commutate hone mein uske immediately i mean subsequently uske foran baad value 2 bhi fail hua commutate hone mein so that means two commutation failures per cycle this gives double commutation failure let us see what is the effect of double commutation failure for that purpose let me draw the omega t axis quickly this is omega t axis as usual this is my eac eac this is this is the commutation voltage of valo 
this is EBC, this is EBA, ECA, ECB, <coughs> EAB, EAC, EBC, EBA, 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 ECA, sorry, ECA, ECB, EAB, and so on. Okay. Now let us see what happens <coughs> with double commutation failure. Now, as you already know, EAC is the commutation voltage of value 1. We'll start with the firing of value 1. Value 1 ki uh, omega t axis yahan pe hai. This is, I mean, uh, value 1 uh, alpha equal to omega, uh, alpha equal to 150 degree means uh, this is commutation voltage of value 1 jab ye next voltage ki peak ke saath. This is value 1's commutation voltage, EAC. Ye coincide hoti hai with the peak of next voltage here. So here you will have alpha, previously you have alpha piche se start kiya. Alpha equal to 150 degrees. So your value 1 will get firing pulse here. This will be followed by sequence conduction of value 2. Firing pulse will be issued to value 2 after 60 degrees. After another 60 degrees, firing pulse will be issued to value 3. After another 60 degrees to value 4. Then 5. Then 6. Then again 1. Then again 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. This is the firing sequence. Now again, um, as soon as you know, uh, value 1 is fired. As soon as value 1 is fired here, value 1 is fired here, so you will get 3 value conduction. Previously 5, 6 pair was conducting, now you will get 5, 6, 1. Conduction. I will write in on this page 561. And with 561 conduction, okay, what will be your load voltage? As we know, five, with 561, my load voltage will be minus 1.5 EB. Let me draw these minus 1.5 voltages. This will be minus 1.5 EB, 1.5 EC, minus 1.5 EA, 1.5 EB, minus 1.5 EC, 1.5 EA. These are plus and minus 1.5 times phase voltages. Now, 1 is fired here, so you will get 3 value conduction 561. With 561, your load voltage, as I have written here, it's minus 1.5 EB. Why is minus 1.5 EB? This is minus 1.5 EB. For 15 degrees, your load voltage will be minus 1.5 EB. Fine. Now, then commutation between, you know, 6 and 1 is over. Um, you will get 5, 6, 1 to 6, 1. Commutation between 1 and 5 is over. 1 is incoming value, 5 is outgoing value. Okay, so 5, 6, 1 will follow 6, 1. When 6, 1 is there, what is your load voltage? I have already established it. Your load voltage is EAB. Okay, where is EAB? You can see this is EAB. You can just check this is EAB. So therefore, it will jump up and it will follow EAB till next instant of firing for 45 degrees. So your load voltage for 15 degrees is minus 1.5 EB. For 45 degrees, it is EAB. And then here value 2 is fired and you will go from uh, three, 2 value conduction to 3 value conduction, 612. With 612, what is your load voltage? Your load voltage is 1.5 EA plus 1.5 EA. Load voltage is 1.5 EA. Why is 1.5 EA? You can just see, just scale up 1.5 EA. So for 15 degrees, it will be 1.5 EA. Okay, then 612 will be followed by 12. And with 12, what is the load voltage? You can see load voltage is EAC. EAC. Why is EAC? You just check. This is EAC. EAC. This is EAC. So it will jump up, it will follow previous pattern, same pattern, and it will be EAC till 3, three is fired. Now, as soon as 3 is fired, fault, let us assume fault condition in the converter has occurred. Either converter AC input voltage has reduced or DC line current has increased. And that resulted in uh, increase of, you know, commutation overlap angle from, uh, say, 15 degrees to 25 degrees. 
okay now anyway when 3 is fired your conduction will change from 2 value conduction to 3 value conduction 1 2 ke baad 1 2 3 hogi and with 1 2 3 what is your load voltage you can see my load voltage is minus 1.5 ec okay minus 1.5 ec means ye meri load voltage this which is minus 1.5 ec ye and it will be there it should have been there for u means 15 degrees but since fault condition has occurred because of fault in the converter i mean either dc line current has increased or ac side voltage has decreased uh, commutation 15 degree ke bajaye 25 degree tak commutation exists karti hai it, it prevails up to 25 degrees so it will extend okay and after you know u equal to 25 degrees commutation is over between 1 and 3 so uh, therefore um, 1 will be out 2 will be in so we will get 2 3 pair of conduction and with 2 3 pair of conduction what is load voltage it is ebc as you know it is ebc and where is your ebc this is ebc you can see this is ebc yeah, EB. but this ebc will be there only for 5 degrees you can see only for 5 degrees so that means when ebc is there value 3 is conducting and well when value 3 is conducting value 3 is conducting only for you know remaining 5 de uh, degrees okay and for uh, remaining 5 degrees it reverse bias is the outgoing value 1 okay so therefore reverse bias across outgoing value is therefore only 5 degrees because your total beta is 30 degrees out of which u is 25 degrees so therefore what is gamma gamma is beta minus u 30 minus 25 only 5 degrees so therefore reverse bias across outgoing value 1 will be there only for 5 degrees and therefore t gamma will be less than t off its turn off time so it will fail to commit it fail to commit it means jab iski uh, uh, commutation voltage which is ab yaha positive ho jati hai without firing pulse it will again go into conduction so therefore 1 2 3 ke baad 2 3 2 3 ke baad 2 3 4 hona chahiye tha but 1 2 3 fir se hoga there is reverse commutation i will write within brackets reverse commutation so why reverse commutation because one fails to commit it it comes back into picture why because it was reverse bias for only 5 degrees less than gamma min and it failed to commit it as soon as its uh, commutation voltage became positive it again started conducting now one is incoming value three is outgoing value with one two three reverse commit commutation what is load voltage it is again minus 1.5 ec so minus 1.5 ec so ye isko follow karega till 15 degrees minus 1.5 ec uske baad one fir se aya three will be out so it will be followed by one two okay and with one two your load voltage is again eac kyunki upar bhi one two load voltage eac hai where is EAC? Yeah, aapki EAC hai. So it will go up and it will follow this EAC till 4 is fired. Aapka 4 yaha pe fire hota hai. When 4 is fired, your load voltage will be 1 to 4. Your uh, value conduction will be 1 to 4. 1 to 4 means 1 and 4 of same branch are conducting. It shorts the load. So load voltage will be 0 for 15 degrees. So it will go up and your load voltage will be 0 for 15 degrees. Anyway, now here... 1 2 4 means previously 1 and 2 were conducting 1 2 4 means 4 was fired the commutation between 2 and 4 occurs now 2 is outgoing value 4 is incoming value now since we are considering double commutation failure let us suppose 2 also fails to commit it why it will fail to commit it because let us suppose as soon as value 4 is fired fault condition in the inverter in the converter has again um, uh, it has again reappeared that means uh, converted DC, DC line current has again either increased or its AC side voltage has decreased. So therefore your you know, uh, 1 to 4 conduction should have been there for 15 degrees. Let us suppose instead of 15 degrees it prevails there for 25 degrees. It you know goes ahead. So 1 to 4 commutation will be there for U equal to 25 degrees because of faulty condition so i, I otherwise uh, you can see here yaha, yaha se yaha tak hi tha. i mean here also it should have been for 15 degrees but it extends uske baad commutation between uh, 4 and uh, 2 over ho jati hai. 4 is incoming value 2 is outgoing value so this gives 1 4 commutation 1 4 1 4 conduction 1 4 conduction means values of the same branch so load voltage is still zero but only for 5 degrees or it should have been uh, zero voltage till next instant of firing. But what will happen after this point? 
टू की कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज पॉजिटिव हो जाती है वॉट इज द कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज ऑफ टू सिंस फोर इज कंडक्टिंग फोर इज कंडक्टिंग मीन्स इसका मतलब टू की कॉम्बिटेशन एनोड वोल्टेज है ई सी एंड इट इज सॉरी इट्स एनोड वोल्टेज इज ई एंड इट्स कैथोड वोल्टेज इज ई सी सो कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज ऑफ टू इज ई ए सी एंड इज ई ए सी पॉजिटिव यू कैन सी दिस इज ई ए सी ई ए सी इज द कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज ऑफ वैल्यू टू एंड इट बिकम्स पॉजिटिव राइट एट दिस मोमेंट एंड दिस एज सुन एज दिस ई ए सी दैट इज कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज ऑफ वैल्यू टू बिकम्स पॉजिटिव वैल्यू टू इमिजिएटली गोज इन टू कंडक्शन अदरवाइज अदर नॉर्मल सर्कमस्टेंसिस अगर वैल्यू टू में कॉम्बिटेशन फेलियर नहीं हुआ होता ये फिर इधर फायर होना था लेकिन ये इधर ही फायर होगा इवन विदाउट फायरिंग पल्स वाई बिकॉज इट वॉज रिवर्स बायास्ट ऑनली फॉर फाइव डिग्रीज विच इज लेस दैन इट्स गामा मिन एंड इट डिड नॉट रिगेन इट्स फॉरवर्ड वोल्टेज ब्लॉकिंग कैपेबिलिटी दैट मीन्स एज सुन एज इट्स कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज विच इज ई ए सी बिकम्स पॉजिटिव विच बिकम्स पॉजिटिव हेयर इट सेल्फ दिस टू अगेन गोज इन टू कंडक्शन सो देयर फोर टू फिर से वापस पिक्चर में आएगा एंड रिवर्स कॉम्बिटेशन बिटवीन वन एंड फोर विल ऑकर and since 1 2 4 is conducting load voltage will remain zero for next 15 degrees wo ye hai uske baad which value will go out two up incoming value hai four outgoing value hai two four ko out karega so your load voltage will be now one your uh, 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 the value conduction will change from 1 2 4 to 1 2 with 1 2 what will be your load voltage anode volt positive bus voltage is ea and negative bus voltage is ec your load voltage will be eac ओके एंड यूर दिस विल बी ए सी वायर इज ई ए सी ये आपकी ए सी है तो इट विल जम्प अप आफ्टर फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज एंड यूर वोल्टेज विल बी ई ए सी टिल फाइव इज फायर ये ई ए सी यहाँ फाइव को फायरिंग पल्स मिलती है द क्वेश्चन इज विल फाइव गो इन टू कंडक्शन विच वैल वॉज कंडक्टिंग वन तो वन डिटरमाइन करेगा फाइव की कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज फाइव का एनोड कनेक्टेड है ईसी के साथ और जब वन कंडक्ट होता है इसका कैथोड कनेक्टेड है ई के साथ सो इसकी कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज है ई सी ए नाउ चेक वेदर फाइव इज कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज विच इज ई सी ए इज पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव कहाँ है ई सी ए दिस इज ई सी ए यू कैन सी दिस इज ई सी ए एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली एट द इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग ऑफ फाइव दिस इज ई सी ए ई सी ए इज नेगेटिव सो देयर फोर फाइव विल नॉट फायर वाई इट विल नॉट फायर Because its commutation voltage is minus E C A, it is negative. So therefore, uh, five fire नहीं होगा तो one two will continue to conduct for next forty five degrees or sixty degrees and load voltage will continue to be E A C. So load voltage till six is fired. Yes, six आपका यहाँ fire होता है. For next sixty degrees, your load voltage will remain E A C itself. उसके बाद यहाँ six fire होता है. Will six fire? प्रीवियसली विच वालू बॉटम में से कंडक्ट कर रहा था टू टू विल डिटरमाइन द कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज ऑफ सिक्स गो टू पावर सर्किट है सिक्स ये है जब टू कंडक्ट कर रहा है टू मीन्स टू इज कनेक्टेड टू ई सी तो सिक्स की एनोड वोल्टेज ई सी है एंड इट्स कैथोड इज कनेक्टेड टू ई बी सो इट्स कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज इज ई सी बी इफ ई सी बी इज पॉजिटिव सिक्स विल फायर अदरवाइज इट विल नॉट फायर वेर इज ई सी बी ई सी बी ये है यू कैन सी दिस इज ई सी बी कॉम्बिटेशन वोल्टेज ऑफ सिक्स and unfortunately this ecb is also negative so that means six will also not fire yeah i'm likhung a six ko will not fire will not fire because its commutation voltage is negative minus ecb minus ecb so six jab fire nahi hoga so one two will continue to conduct for next 60 degrees and load voltage will be eac it will continue to remain eac or uh, iska matlab load voltage next instant of firing one ki ho jati hai तो ये ई ए सी ही रहेगा लोड वोल्टेज ई ए सी रहे उसके बाद वन सिक्स के बाद वन इज फायर्ड वट इज द बट वन इज ऑलरेडी फायरिंग पल्स इज गिवन टू वन लेकिन वन ऑलरेडी कंडक्ट कर रहा है तो वन विल कंटिन्यू टू कंडक्ट वन एंड टू एंड यूर लोड वोल्टेज इज ई ए सी बिकॉज फायरिंग पल्स इज इशू टू वन बट वन इज ऑलरेडी कंडक्टिंग सो यूर लोड वोल्टेज विल रिमेन ई ए सी टिल नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग दैट मीन्स टिल टू इज फायर्ड टू आपका यहाँ फायर होता है अब यहाँ पे टू फायर होता है लेटर सी वट हैपन वन टू इज फायर द क्वेश्चन इज विल टू फायर प्रीवियसली ओके टू विल टू फायर बट टू इज ऑलरेडी कंडक्टिंग टू इज ऑल्सो कंडक्टिंग सो वन टू विल कंटिन्यू टू विल कंटिन्यू देयर सो लोड वोटेज विल बी ई ए सी सो हेयर फायरिंग पल्स इज गिवन टू टू बट टू इज ऑलरेडी कंडक्टिंग यू कैन सी टू इज ऑलरेडी कंडक्टिंग सो यूर लोड वोल्टेज टिल नेक्स्ट इंस्टेंट ऑफ फायरिंग इट विल रिमेन ई ए सी इट सेल्फ यहाँ तक 
So you shade it, it will remain EAC. EAC array. Now here 3 is fired. Question is will 3 fire? Let us see. Previously 1 was conducting. Jab 1 conduct kar raha tha, what is anode voltage of 3? It is EB. Cathode voltage of 3 is EA. So its commutation voltage is EBA. Kya EBA positive hai? Where is EBA? EBA ye hai. And luckily EBA is positive. So that means 3 will now go into conduction. So you will get 1, 2, 3 conduction. Or 1, 2, 3 conduction already hai mein pata hai when 1, 2, 3 conduction is there, our load voltage is minus 1.5 EC. So my our load voltage will be for 15 degrees minus 1.5 EC. So for 15 degrees my load voltage will be minus 1.5 EC. Uske baad commutation between 3 and 1 is over. So you will get 2 value conduction. 1, 2, 3 set 2, 3. 2, 3 means 2, 3 ka kya matlab ho? Aapki load voltage kya hoogi? This is 2, 3. 2, 3 pe load voltage EBC hoti hai. EBC. Where is EBC? Yeh aapka EBC hai. You can see. You can see this is EBC. So yeh EBC ko follow karega. Or uske baad normal operation shuru ho jayega. Then again 1.5 times some phase voltage. And then line voltage. This is it. So yeh load voltage waveform hai for... Uh, double commutation failure. Double commutation failure kaise hua? Pahle uh, commutation failure of value 1 occurred. And immediately commutation value, uh, failure of value 2 occurred. Value 1 failed to commutate. Ye yaha wapas a gaya and it resulted in zero voltage. Or value 2 ki bhi commutation failure ho gai. Or is wajah se iski puri voltage waveform converter ki disturb ho gai. Now we can see if you compare the uh, load voltage waveform for single commutation failure which is this and double commutation failure which is this which one is more severe i will say the commutation failure double commutation failure this is single commutation failure this is double commutation failure this is the load voltage waveform for single commutation failure this is the load voltage waveform for double commutation failure if you find the average voltage for single commutation failure for a large period it is zero but for large period it is negative also therefore if you find uh, average output voltage with single commutation failure it will be still negative of course it will be less negative but it will be still negative but with double commutation failure aap agar average voltage nikalenge average output voltage for uh, for uh, about um, 100 degrees it is zero and then it is positive for a large period so therefore agar ye aapka ek cycle hai for ek cycle mein agar aap iski average voltage nikalenge output voltage that will be nearly equal to zero Average output voltage with double commutation failure will be nearly equal to zero because you can see it has zero voltage component and a large positive voltage component and negative voltage component. So this negative voltage component and positive voltage component, they are almost equal in area. So that will give average output voltage nearly equal to zero. So therefore, double commutation failure, I would like to say, is very severe as compared to single commutation failure because in single commutation failure, average output voltage is still negative. But in double commutation failure, average output voltage is nearly equal to zero and this is a severe abnormality of the converter. So therefore, for double commutation failure, uh, your controller has to be very, very prompt and, you know, this double commutation failure, if it is not self-clearing, if it does not clear in the next cycle, it has to be cleared by a special control which is called beta control or voltage-dependent current or a limit VD call. Okay, we will discuss that beta control, etc. in next module. So, therefore, um, uh, we have drawn the way. We have first, uh, in today's lecture, discussed what is commutation failure, what are the causes of commutation failure, and then we have tried to draw waveform for uh, converter output voltage for single commutation failure and double commutation failure. And these are the load voltage waveforms for single commutation failure and double commutation failure. And our conclusion is that Commutation failure is very severe for double commutation. You know, uh, situation or condition is very severe for double commutation failure than single commutation failure because for double commutation failure, average output voltage is nearly equal to zero. So therefore, special attention has to be given by controller whenever double commutation failure occurs. So I again advise you that you please try to draw these waveforms yourself for single commutation failure as well as for double commutation failure and in case of any difficulty you can ask me the queries i will be pleased to clear your doubts to answer your queries and um, you can um, develop the commutation failure situation by delaying the firing angle by delaying the firing pulse by 5 degrees you know i told you that one another reason of commutation failure is uh, uh, you know uh, delay in the um, 
delay in the uh, application of firing pulse if firing pulse was to be issued say at alpha equal to 150 degrees it may get issued 5 degrees late say alpha equal to 155 degrees that will reduce your gamma from 15 degrees to only 10 degrees and your gamma min since it is 15 degrees minimum and for 10 degrees that means commutation failure will again take place so i advise you that you draw the load voltage waveforms for single commutation failure and double commutation failure for um, you know um, third cause of commutation failure that is late application of firing pulse if firing pulse is delayed by 5 degrees or say 6 degrees 7 degrees so in case of any difficulty you can uh, ask me you can, uh, i'll be pleased to reply your queries and with this our you know this uh, session of drawing waveforms is over we have started drawing waveforms from module 2 for a two value conduction then for three value conduction different modes mode 1 u less than 60 degrees which gives two and three value conduction mode 2 u equal to 60 degrees which gives 3 value conduction and mode 3 u greater than 60 degrees which gives 3 and 4 value conduction and then we uh, over last two lectures or three lectures we have been drawing waveforms for converter output voltage uh, for different mal operations the first mal operation for which we have drawn waveform um, the other day in one of the previous lectures was arc through and then in um, another lecture previous lecture we have drawn waveform for load voltage for another mal operation misfire and today we have drawn waveform for another type of uh, mal operation that is commutation failure both single commutation failure and double commutation failure and from now onwards we will not be drawing any waveforms for rest of the course and um, inshallah in next lecture i will try to discuss the protection schemes of hudc systems i will try to finish that within one or two lectures and that will complete our module 3 and then we will start module 4 which is HVDC system control techniques control of HVDC systems so with this I will end my today's lecture I again advise you to uh, reproduce redraw these waveforms practice the waveforms and try to draw waveforms for another cause of commutation failure that is delayed application of firing pulse you can delay the application of firing pulse by around 5 degrees that will also result in commutation failure so thank you very much.